Hey, good morning, Bills Mafia. How is everybody doing? It is game day, uh, Sunday, December 12th. And today we take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It is an afternoon game of uh, 4 o'clock East Coast time and uh, 3 o'clock, well, I'm sorry, 420 East Coast and 320 Central, which is where I am. And so after last week's uh, little bit of a fiat, well, I don't want to call it a f complete fiasco, but after last week's um, defeat, um, the Bills face a critical game against Tampa Bay. I don't want to call it a must win because they're still in the seventh seed and, you know, things being as they are um, with Pittsburgh having lost um, and with everybody else all jumbled up. You know, the Bills can still, even if they lose, uh, make the playoffs. However, it's a lot less likely. There's one problem. The team standing in their way today is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterbacked by one Tom Brady. I'm not so much worried about Tom Brady as I am the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They're a very good team, even without Antonio Brown, who's going to miss today's game because he's an idiot. That's another story for another day, which I probably won't even get into. But the point is, Tampa Bay's really good. They have a really good defense. At least their defensive line and their linebackers are pretty good. Uh, their secondary is a little bit beat up still. Um, and the Bills have weapons and they're playing in Tampa Bay, which is another thing. They're playing in Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is undefeated at home this year. And this is my cat. <laughs> he didn't get out, he didn't try to get on video intentionally, but he loves attention. So I gave him some. Anyway, Tampa Bay is undefeated at home this year. And um, they have one Leonard Fournette at running back. You may re remember Leonard Fournette from his days at Jacksonville. And most recently at Tampa Bay. He's been at Tampa Bay for a couple of years now. He's really good still. He's always been good. He just had a terrible team in, in Jacksonville. But he's still really good. He's still a really powerful running back. And we don't do too well against powerful running backs, do we? Um, and by the way, speaking of that, guess who's out again? Yes, one star Latulale. This time he's injured uh we got a problem people we got a problem that problem is tampa bay's uh wide receiving core and one rob gronkowski at tight end i just don't i when not when i set up this season at the beginning of the season uh I predicted a loss here just because I knew Tampa Bay was good. They're the defending Super Bowl champions and they, their roster didn't change any from last season. So why would I predict the Bills are going to beat them? You know, when they beat Kansas city in the Super Bowl last year and they just, they've got a lot, they've just got a lot. And by the way, we still don't have Tredavious white. We won't have him the rest of the season. So when you've got a team full of, full of good receivers and you've got uh, a good defensive line combined with our bad offensive line. And I'm willing to say that now. And uh, Tredavious White out, Starla Tula lay out. It just doesn't, uh, it doesn't make for a good mix. And it kind of sets up for for it to play out the way I predicted at the beginning of the season with a loss in this spot. The Bills are looking to rebound. Uh, the the uh, whole aren't you embarrassed thing with the defense um, with Jerry Sullivan and, and uh, Micah Hyde and Jordan Poyer thing uh, Josh Allen saying they were pissed off. Okay, great. 
Here's the problem. You still got to physically go out there and do it. I haven't seen anything indicating that the Bills are capable of stopping a good running game. I haven't seen it. Yeah, the Bills have been ranked blah, blah, blah. They've been ranked at the top all season. But they've, 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 uh, they've really kind of uh, accumulated their stats against weaker competition. They have. I mean, but you look at the good running teams. Tennessee got run over. Indianapolis got run over. New England got run over. And you can say all you want about big runs, but they still count. And if you can't stop the big runs, which they haven't been able to do, then you're not going to stop anything else. Therefore, I am reluctantly predicting a loss in this spot as I did before. Problem is, this time the Bills are going to lose 34 to 27. There, I said it. I hate predicting Bills' losses because it sounds like I don't have faith in the team. Am I supposed to have faith? I'm supposed to have faith that they can win. I think they can win because they have a decent enough offense. They still can't run the ball, though. There's that. But until you show me that you can be consistent, that you can actually live up to the potential that you've been uh, assigned and shown, that then I can't predict any kind of uh, any kind of uh, consistency in your performance, and, and I can't predict wins on a regular basis. Sorry, guys. Love you. But it's not going to happen today. You're in trouble. Because now you got to win at New England. That would be a must win. As always, I love the Bills. Go Bills. Prove me wrong, please.